Hey there, how's it going? Welcome. My name is Will. I am a photographer and filmmaker from London and uh, I thought I'd kickstart off this YouTube channel with something a little bit special. So 20 minutes or so of wholesome goodness. My sister recently dropped off my niece and nephew at my place for a few days and this is an episode that I've wanted to make for the longest time. So it's a little bit longer than, you know, the kind of episodes and the kind of uh, videos that you can expect in this channel, but please grab a drink uh, and come along with us as I take my niece and nephew out to capture and develop their first roles of film. Do you want to come in? Yeah, yeah? sure. Come and sit down. You want to introduce yourselves? I'm Rhea and I'm nine. I am Cleek and I'm seven. Right, so what are we going to do today? God, I, I, I think gonna... take photos. Take photos and, oh, I know the best place where to take photos is Buckingham's Palace. Buckingham's Palace? Oh, because of coronavirus, we can't go into. The hotel. We can't go inside, I, I, but we can go yeah. outside and then we can have a look around and then yeah. we've got and I nice hope gardens, we can have a Yeah, and, and I pelicans. hope and I hope we can ride on a boat. You wanna ride on a boat as well? You excited? Yeah, so excited. So, I've got a couple of cameras for you guys. Okay. Yeah? yeah? So in fact, what do you guys know about cameras? That they are very delicate and they have a lot of buttons yeah. and they're very and heavy. Yeah. A lot of cameras are very heavy, they have to hold them with two hands, yeah. like but some YouTubers yeah. have a GoPro. Like this, wait there, let me go get it. You stay there, I'll yeah. come back. I'm taking a photo. You can actually see through this tiny square. Look no, at, that's not our camera. Look at, look look at this one. how, look in there, Real. It's so big, right? It's so magical. So this is the big heavy camera you're talking about, right? Yeah. Careful with it. Do you remember yeah. how to use it? Yeah, I remember. Ah, now what do I want to That's it. All the way down. But careful, you don't want to trap your fingers. So careful there. You remember how to fire the shot? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh. There you go. I think we should take this one, and we should take this one. Which, which one do you guys want to use? Oh. I'm going to use this one. You want to use this one? Can you even film yeah, but one? how do you... You want to use this one? Good. That one's good to take. This is cute. You look through this one? Yeah, I like this one. I, I'm going to have this one. This uh, camera, like, is very cool and rigid. And it's a very light. And it's like, when you look... It, this part here... It's like it's a square and it's very small and when you like look at it it's so big compared it's a magical the, these cameras are magical so Kalik has chosen the magical Yushika AW Mini this little point and shoot was first released in 1999 and it features the popular clamshell design this is great because it means you can just close the front throw it into your pocket or throw it into your bag and you don't have to worry about scratching the lens the AW in the name stands for all weather, which means you can use this camera easily in less than perfect conditions. Similarly to other Yushika cameras, it features this cool little waist level viewfinder. The lens is a 32mm f3.5, it has an integrated flash and it also has shutter speeds between 1 1 20th and 1 600th of a second. So Riel has chosen the Lomo LCA, which is a fixed lens, 35mm zone focus compact camera, which was first introduced in 1984. The camera features an adjustable aperture between f2.8 and f16. It also has a selective zone focusing switch where you can toggle between 0.8 meters and infinity. This is a manual advanced camera and it does not have an integrated flash, but it does have this cool slidey curtain feature which protects the lens and also the viewfinder. Before we go, do you know what these are? No. Batteries. Batteries? You think they're batteries, yeah? Yeah, they are. Yeah, 100%. You can't take photos with these things. You can't? Have you ever seen one before? Uh, so it's a battery. You can't take photos with two no so what do you, So what, what do you think this is coming out of the end of it? What do you think that is? That's just plastic. 
All right, so what do you think these are? So these things here. What do you think these are? Should we take one out? Yeah, so you have to hold it by the side bits here. So if we take one out. Oh, and hold it's it like a candy, side. is it candy? These are the photos that you took. But how can you take photos? I thought, thought you said you couldn't take photos on that. Look. No, because you used camera. Let's see. No, you stamp it on something. You stamp it? Yeah, and then it comes up onto here. And then it comes up onto here? Yes. Is that how you think photos are made? Yeah, no, you take, you go. So if you hold these up to the light. Wow. Your one's only got two on there. Can you see? I don't wow. see fingerprint. What can you see? I can see Does ghost people. You, you still think they're batteries? Yeah. No, I think you can take photos with this somehow. You, somehow? No, you put it. You put the film in somewhere. Oh, so you put the film inside of it? Yeah, and this, and then when you take a photo, you can take you can take photos, take them out, and then you've got the photo. Okay. That's I mean, you want that's to take not, a photo. That's goodness. not bad. That's not bad. So I think what we should do today, I think we should take the cameras out. I think we should go for a walk. And then I think we should take some photos. What do you think you're going to take photos of? Well, I'm definitely going to take photos nature is also of flowers, Buckingham Palace, the... First thing we need to do is I think we need to go out and we need to buy you some film. So these ones here, <laughs> these ones here have already been used. We have to go to a special shop and then we can buy some more. And then we can put the film inside of here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we can go out and take some photos. You like that? And you guys will be coming with us too. We just what? went to his shop and got some, what is this called? Film. 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 And now we've got to go and get battery. We'll be back on the train, going to Buckingham Palace. Let me just sit down in front of you guys. I'm going to have to get low to the ground. Let me get low. Can you see? Oh, not me. So, all right, guys, how's it going? So uh, we're currently at Green Park now. I don't know if you can see Kalik. There he is, he's hiding. Uh, we're just taking some lunch. We're having some lunch and uh, having a little bit of a problem. So I don't know if you can really see. So I thought the batteries were dead in this camera, but it turns out, um, yeah, you can't really see, but there's actually some corrosion in the battery compartment of this. Let's take a look and which means I'm going to have to clean that out before uh, I find out if it's actually working. So yeah, I apologize for uh, if the wind is picking up, uh, if the microphone's picking up the wind, it's quite windy at the moment and uh, we don't have windshields. So we've decided that we're going to use just the, just the Yashica today. Um, as I said, we've got, um, we picked up some 400 Tri-X and uh, we're just going to use this one. So these guys have got what 16 shots each. Yeah, we're going to see what we are. Uh, we're going to see what we can capture. So that's the old one. Yeah, that's it. And then push it down. There you go. Pull that out a little bit. Not too much. And then you want to tuck that underneath there. There we go. And now you guys can actually see. It's loaded, right? Yeah. Now I should hopefully be able to take some pictures.
Well, I've seen this M D thing. I don't know what it stands for in a love heart. Where can I see my photo? You can't see it. Yeah, you can. What so can that's you? the thing. So we're shooting on film, so you have to wait. You can't see the photos until you take them home and develop them. Oh no, what if it's bad? Reloaded up the camera and now what we're go go doing now is we just walk into Buckland's Palace, which is not forest. We're, we're like in Buckland's Palace's field, like garden basically. Garden basically, yeah. And you're looking, garden. Are you looking for your first photo? Yeah, we're looking for my, for my first photo. Right, I see something. It's going to take a photo of the whole town. I want me to see without any problems. Parts here.
took a photo of that there. Look how big I took a photo of that. Yeah. It does open, but it's not going to open for us because we're too small. See if there's one more for that, quickly! Yeah, there's just one more left. There we go. What's happening, mate? It's rewinding. Right here. Done? Yep. Now we can take more photos. Yeah, they've never done it before, so developing black and white film is uh, considerably easier than developing colour film. So I thought it'd be a good introduction. And not only that, but the chemicals that we use for black and white film are also a lot safer than the chemicals that are used in uh, developing color film. So I might have to skip through certain parts of it, but I'm gonna try to help them understand the developing process as much as possible, but without making this video about two hours long. So we've got all the windows open, so we've got a nice draft coming through. The, the kids have got masks on, and um, we've also got some gloves for them to wear. If we get rid of these, just throw them away. This material here, this film, yeah. is like light sensitive. So the way that cameras work, the way that you take a picture. Cool. So yeah, I've gone in, I've loaded the film inside of the tank. And um, we'll just Let's put this chuck on. chuck it in the bin. We'll just put that onto the floor. So let me explain to these guys briefly what we have. So this is Ilford Wash Aid, Ilford Rapid Fixer, and Kodak's uh, HC110. Okay? Yeah. Should we do that now? Yeah. Right, let's do it. Let's wash the film. Okay, see the 200 down there? And you want to do this? Right, you ready? Put this funnel in, and you pour it into the funnel. Careful, slowly, slow. Come on, come out the way. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Amazing. All gone. That's it. Push this away. Twenty point eight, which is okay. We could probably use it. All right, it's tightened. Okay. Right. You can you can carry. a little bit into here. Careful, careful, slowly. Slowly. Can I go around there or not? Yeah. Come on this way. Then we're going to put the lid on. Yeah. Make sure the lid is unsealed. And then you just rotate it. Yeah, we rotate it. Or a more fancy name for it, it's called agitation. Slow, slow. Done. So we start the timer. The, well, into the sink because it's bad for the animals, so don't put it in. So we've, yeah, that's right. So we've got to put this into a bottle, haven't we? And then we've got to develop, we've got to dispose of it in the correct way. Yeah. So we can wash this just with normal cold water. I'm gonna put it underneath. That's it. Take a quick look. Yeah. Right, you can see. Oh yeah. 
pictures that you take. Can you see them? You see? Can you see? No one. Can you see? Can you see yourself? Look, look at that yeah. picture of Cleek. Mm. Can you see him? Yeah. Is this, look at yourself here. Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah, put that right on. Really, I didn't do the random stuff. Look at that. <laughs> look at that part there. It looks it's, like a tower. I took it because I like, look, like the little tunnel break, the breaky tree tunnel. Yeah. And also the view, look, you can see the towers. It's cool, isn't it? So guys, thank you so much. I really hope you enjoyed watching that as much as we did making it. Like I said, it's a little bit on the longer side, but I really wanted to make sure that I sort of capture both Kalik and Rail's massive personalities without trimming and chopping out too much of the content. So yeah, if you did enjoy it, please, by all means, leave a comment in the comment section below, if anything, so I can just relay that on to Kalik and Rail. I'm sure they would love to know what you think about their video. And two disclaimers uh, before I go. First one being just because I know what the internet is like. So my sister uh, gave me full permission to make the video, like she knew what I was doing, she knew the concept and she loved it. Uh, so yeah, just wanted to put that one out there. And lastly is that all of the image, images that you saw were taken by the kids with pretty much zero guidance from me. Um, they said at the start of the video that they wanted to capture you know, nature, animals and beauty. And um, Rail told me that she just likes to take photos of the things that she loves. So yeah, the only picture that I captured on the day was this one. Thank <laughs> you.